I'm Paige Johnson, and I'm coming to you from Egan, Minnesota, where I'm getting a little sick of what's been going on. I'm bored. I'm bored. Uh, I need a change. And one of the things that we can change, we can't go outside much around here, or to stores or to movies, but what I can do is I can rearrange my furniture. And that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm going to show you how to build a floor plan within Creative Studio. So I'm going to start by putting a Creative Studio on my screen and put the grid on. And I'm going to start by just creating a box with draw pattern and snap. I'm just making a box here. This box is right now 10 by 20. If I want to make my floor plan to scale, I'm going to make one inch equal a foot. And my studio is 30 feet wide and 60 tall. So that's how I made the outline of my studio. I then put in walls. There's a post in the center. And I made a little spot for the door. If I take all of those patterns and combine them, they're now one pattern. And then I can convert that pattern to a boundary. Now I've gone in and I have taken measurements of a lot of the furniture and the machines and things. And these are their patterns. I can move them in and out of my house or my studio. And I've also labeled them. So let me show you how I do that. So if I have I've made a box and I want to put a label into it. So let's make a box here. And one of my Let's see, I don't know if that's the right height. 14 by 7 and 14 by 8. I can make that smaller. I can make these fit. Uh, this is one of my tables, and I do have a 12-foot table. But I have given myself walk-around space. So when I arrange the, the machines, I'm going to have space around them. So I name my machines. And to put a name onto a piece of furniture, I'm going to go into Draw Text. And so I can click on the screen and put a name there for my machine. And this guy's name is Stormy. I'm going to click on the screen. I'm going to say OK. And we'll bring that in. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so I can see it. I now have two patterns. If I marquee select those patterns, I can use one of my icons to combine them. Or I could right click. And now I have a pattern. And I can bring that in. I can rotate those and set them anywhere in that room that I want them to be. I'll pull in this machine over here. And so it looks like I've only got two feet between them. But I've also built in walk around around those machines themselves. So here you can see where I've done a layout here. And if I want to change the color, all I have to do is toggle that pattern sewn. I'm going to take the grid off so you can see this layout. 
I can select all the patterns on my screen and copy it to take it to a, another screen or another group where I can just paste it. So now I can go back and make changes. Perhaps I want to see if this cutting table would move someplace else. So what I'll do is I'll try a lot of different configurations, taking copies of each one because I may forget where I put the pieces. If you need more than one, you can rubber stamp it. Let's say I have these wire shelves in my back room, and if I want to get another one, I can rubber stamp it and set that on here. I don't need to make that pattern three times. So let's turn that around and maybe put those shelves against this wall. Maybe pull these out just a bit. So I have room. Maybe I could put something in here. So I have flexibility about uh, seeing how things are going to work for me. And if I think, oh, you know, I forgot I have a little computer stand here next to Stewie. Let's put our grid back on. I can make that pattern very easily. And that is two feet by two feet. And I can move that in right here. So now I've got that computer stand. If I want to label it, I'll go over to draw text. And uh, it's a small piece, so I'm just going to put a, a, a computer stand sc right there i'm going to say okay i'm going to move that pattern into my block here make it a little bit smaller so it fits take both of those patterns combine them and i can move that computer stand right over here and you know what? I've got one over here, too. So let's rubber stamp that, bring it off to this side, and then I have to move my machine out. And this pretty much represents how my studio is set up currently. I've put in the door, and I've also put in my design walls. I think I've shown you how I've done those. Any of these things are movable. So if I want to take my sewing station here and kind of move it around, well, actually that doesn't work that way. I could take these two tables and rotate and sit them like this. That works as well. But um, flexibility. It's kind of fun. So I hope you can try this at home. It has been very helpful for me and it's kind of fun to play. I used to do um, graph paper as a kid and I'd like to draw out things and I'd make little like paper things of couches and chairs and rearrange my room. And this is fun. You can still do that, but you don't hurt your back in moving furniture. And you know it's going to fit before you get started. So there's a lot of ways to use Creative Studio. I hope you can try it.